इस नहीं का कोई इलाज नहीं रोज कह देते हो आज I am mother. It's not hard to make the argument that humanity sure has made a mess of this whole planet Earth thing. We won't get into the specifics, but if you've paid any attention to the news in the last 5 to 5000 years or so, you're probably aware that as a species, we're not the best at making good long-term decisions. But would a machine do any better? I am mother asks that very same question and like all good science fiction movies, it doesn't quite give you the answer you think you want. In a future where humanity has been wiped off of the planet's surface, a young girl is born inside a bunker and raised by a robot artificial intelligence, appropriately named Mother. As Mother raises daughter, we learn more and more about the world the young woman is going to inherit until that is, daughter's bubble is popped with the arrival of a mysterious woman who begs her way into the bunker from the outside world. The woman, played by Hillary Swank, tells daughter that everything she's been taught about humanity's demise is a lie, or is it? The drama that ensues will have you on the edge of your seat and might make you want to unplug your smart speaker just in case. By the contagion outside. Who put that in your head? Did you know there were people out there? I'm as surprised as you. There's a droid here. Mother's not what you think. She's taken care of me my whole life. You haven't seen what they've done. Not mother. I told you it was dangerous outside. I hope you see that I'm different than her assailants. That thing feels nothing for you. You don't belong here. I've discovered something troubling. Our guest has not been entirely truthful with us. Daughter, I know you're frightened, but you have no need to be. Have I ever done you harm? It's just a matter of time. This woman doesn't care about any future but her own. Her own. She's very dangerous. It's dangerous. I'm never gonna hurt you. I hurt you. She's a risk we can't take. We can't take. We have to go now. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. Daughter. Daughter. Your whole life I've taught you to see the bigger picture. Everything I do is to protect you. advantageous when it comes to technology and science just because you can do something certainly doesn't also mean that you ought to especially when the cost to human lives might outweigh the benefits that's one of the questions tackled by advantageous a film from 2015 that imagines a near future where the technology to transfer someone's consciousness into a new body is going from science fiction to science fact Single mom Gwen is fired from her job selling cosmetic procedures and her daughter's spot in a prestigious school is put into jeopardy With no money and no prospects, she approaches her old boss about acting as a guinea pig for a new mind transferring procedure they're developing, all in the hopes that a younger, more appealing body will allow her to get her old job back and keep her daughter well taken care of. Of course, if you've seen literally any movie before in your life, you know things don't go according to plan. But the film still raises those all important questions. How far would you go to protect the ones you love? How much would you sacrifice? And after all said and done, Was it worth it? No ballet dancer. I got a call yesterday. About the race? How's the job search? Forty thousand dollars would get us through the next month. I need. Please. To... Go. The procedure you're launching. Use it on me. Now open your eyes. That world is here, and it's yours. Why did you have me? You had to struggle so much. You make me very happy.
Jupiter Ascending, with 1999's The Matrix, the Wachowskis reimagined what sci-fi movies can be. While each of the movies they've made since the first Matrix hasn't quite lived up to that incredibly high watermark, the siblings have continued to push the envelope with every new release in theaters. That ambition and commitment to big ideas is on full display in Jupiter Ascending, a 2015 film starring Channing Tatum, Mila Kunis, and Eddie Redmayne. If you've ever wondered what the Wachowskis' take on Star Wars would be, this is it. Let's not try to summarize the story of Jupiter Ascending, it twists and turns enough times to get any viewer pretty confused. But what this movie really has going for it are incredible visuals, often comprising practical effects and stunts. Not only that, but the film also features an amazingly detailed galaxy full of aliens, creatures, and royal dynasties, not to mention plenty of spaceship action. Though this movie may not have spawned a new franchise, it's a sci-fi spectacle that you won't soon forget. When the exact same genes reappear in the exact same order, it is what you call reincarnation. Your Majesty's life is going to change, if she wants it to. I'm still the same me. Right now, Balem owns the title to Earth. Once you claim it, the Earth will belong to you. I will harvest that planet tomorrow before I let her take it from me. Have you ever seen a harvest? Never. But I've heard they feel no pain. You should have told me the truth about why you wanted her. Not Your Majesty, I have more in common with a dog than I have with you. I love dogs. I've always loved dogs. Here we go. The Wandering Earth. It's one of the most successful movies made in the last several years, and you've probably never even heard of it. The Chinese film The Wandering Earth came out in 2019 and was a smash, becoming the second highest all-time box office grocer in the history of Chinese cinema. The story takes place in the not-too-distant future of 2061, when the sun has begun expanding and threatens the Earth's existence. What's a group of action astronauts to do? Why, strap a bunch of fusion-powered rocket boosters, known as Earth engines, to the planet's surface and blast it into a new solar system over four light years away. Think back to the goofy fun of all those world-saving epics from the late 90s, and you'll start to get a sense of what you're in for with the wandering Earth. Did you like Armageddon? Well, you'll probably like this, but it's got the added benefit of having 21st century special effects and stunts. And let's not forget that, as a Chinese language movie, it's got subtitles, and that'll make you feel smart even though you're just watching a ridiculous action sci-fi epic. Make some popcorn and strap in for the ride of your life.你快想好了,這是我們沒回家機會。快呀。It's the world's most secure prison. It holds the planet's deadliest criminals. It's impenetrable.
because it's not on Earth. I'm gonna ask you a few questions. Do you dream while you're under? I'm gonna dream about you. You wanna test me? Sit down! He's got a gun! Mr. President, there's been a massive takeover on MS-1. My daughter is on a goodwill mission on that station. There's only one man who can get her out. Who? Snow. He's the best there is. But he's a loose cannon. Don't get me wrong, it's a dream vacation. I mean, I go into space, I get inside the maximum security nuthouse. Get past all the psychos. Save the president's daughter if she's not dead already. I'm thrilled that you would think of me. Get in there. God, I hate heights. The gravity generated will hold you up. You gotta trust me on this. Really? What the hell are you doing? I am bringing you back from the dead. Have your attention. Our meal ticket is a woman. We need her alive. What the hell is happening here? It's falling out of the sky. Come back to me, my little Emily. Impact on the eastern seaboard in eight minutes. We gotta get out of here. What if this doesn't work? Well, then we're probably gonna die. Don't worry, it's perfectly safe. The simple thank you is enough. The oh. Watch. Into the Forest. Even though Into the Forest, starring Ellen Page and Evan Rachel Wood, takes place in a near future with some advanced looking technology, it's easy to imagine the events of this film unfolding right here, right now. The movie's story focuses on two sisters, Nell and Eva, who live in a house in the woods with their father. One day the power goes out, but rather than being a local, temporary inconvenience, it becomes clear that the outage is a widespread technological meltdown. What ensues is a harrowing tale of trauma, loss, and survival. While the sci-fi elements melt into the background, the drama ratchets way up as the story continues. Nell and Eva must see if they can work together to forge a new path as the outage continues and their world changes forever. Even more unsettling is the knowledge that no matter how far our technology progresses, we're one big blackout away from defending ourselves from creeps by wielding a big, wood-chopping axe. Come by to see if you're okay. <laughs> Eva! Anybody there? We need to stick together. What else are sisters for? <laughs> is what you make of it, and if you don't really like what you're doing day in and day out, your life can feel pretty pointless. That's the problem faced by Aaron and Justin, two down on their luck brothers who've struggled to succeed ever since leaving Camp Arcadia, a sort of cultish, off the grid youth group they used to belong to. After receiving a videotape from the camp, they decide to head back and see if they can turn their lives around, and maybe figure out why they both have different memories of their experiences there. If you're wondering where the science fiction is hiding in this movie, don't worry, it won't take long for you to discover that some very weird stuff is going down at Camp Arcadia. Time loops, mysterious creatures, and unsolvable physics problems abound, and the brothers must figure out whether or not they should try to leave, or if they even could if they wanted to. The Endless will bend your mind in the best possible way, and it might force you to ask the most essential question of all, are you killing time, or is time killing you? I come back now. The video you sent. My video. How is that possible? You want to know what runs all this? 
You go find it. Woo. Who's next? We can't go back to our lives knowing that there's actually something out here. It doesn't let me sleep. It doesn't let me dream. There's something down there. If you let it control you, it's gonna control you over and over again. We're all stuck in this thing! We couldn't be happier. 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 There's something out here, isn't there? Spectral, when you're waging war, you generally want to stay hidden for as long as possible. Staying stealthy helps you stay alive, after all, and it might just help you get the drop on the other guy. But what happens when you're fighting an enemy you can't see, or hear, or shoot? That's the dilemma faced by the heroes of Spectral. During a military operation in Moldova, US troops encounter a group of invisible combatants that decimate their numbers with brutal efficiency. Is this a group of enemy soldiers, outfitted with incredible new stealth technology? Or could these be a herd of super pissed off ghouls? If so, who you gonna call? Why, you call DARPA scientist Dr. Mark Klein, of course. When Klein arrives in Moldova, he breaks out some special spectral goggles to help his team finally see what they're up against. As the team attempts to figure out the mystery of these murderous apparitions, the movie continues to hit you with explosions, chase scenes, and intense sci-fi military action. If you're a fan of action thrillers with a healthy portion of heady science, Spectral has you covered. Is there anything that explains what you saw? No. limit to how far they can spread unless we stop them the discovery what happens after you die is there an afterlife or just a whole lot of nothing and if you knew for sure that there was somewhere else to go that wasn't here, would you hurry up and try to get there faster? The somber, thoughtful sci-fi movie The Discovery imagines a world where we've gotten an answer to that question. There definitively is an afterlife, and as a result, people around the world begin ending their own lives en masse just to get there. With a stacked cast including Robert Redford, Jason Siegel, and Rooney Mara, The Discovery explores heady questions about what kind of meaning life actually has if this is all just a precursor to living large in the great beyond. And as the characters of the film begin to discover the true nature of the afterlife they've found, the very nature of their reality starts to come into question. Don't watch this one alone.